Yo, what is up you guys? How you guys going today? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make your door panel go from this to this. So this is all you're gonna need. I used about a can and a half of paint on the whole door panel. I got some of this stuff right here. This is for the carpet. And I got a green Scotch-Brite pad or a Barilla pad, whatever you wanna call this. I just stole it from the kitchen. Um, I just used this to scuff up the whole door panel. You can either lay down primer or just go straight for the paint. I decided to go straight to painting it because if it ever gets scratched, whatever color primer that you use, whether it's white or it's gray, that's going to show through. So instead of doing all that, I figured I'd just go ahead and just straight up paint it. So when doing this, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and pop off your door handle bezel. Okay. Now there is a series of clips that hold this in. So this just pops off. And if you do it gently, then you won't have to replace any of these tabs. Now what you want to do is go ahead and scuff it up. But you want to be careful and not burn through it because this is just vinyl. Now, here's another thing. You guys are probably wondering why I'm just using this regular cheap spray paint and not like a vinyl paint. That's because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on vinyl paint. That's the only reason I can give y'all. On that door panel over there, I took everything apart and painted it individually. But because that's not really necessary, and plus it's like time consuming because you gotta take the door panel off and unplug all this crap, I'm just gonna go ahead and tape everything up that I don't want painted, and I'm just gonna shoot it all at the same time. So let me go ahead and scuff this up. So because this and this is actually metal, I went ahead and sanded it down with 80 grit. This has a bunch of rust on it, so I'm gonna be priming them before I paint them, just so that way the paint bonds a little bit better and uh, that way I won't have any more problems. I will have white overspray over here, but <laughs> I will just spray back over it with the carpet tinter or whatever the heck you wanna call it. And uh, yeah, all right. So because of this overspray, I do know how to get it off. If you guys are OGs of the channel, you guys will know this. So let's go ahead and begin. That's it for that. that's it for that i don't really need to fully cover it because the whole thing wasn't rusted and it is what it is all right the hard part is over so now only thing we got to do is go ahead and lay down a coat of paint everywhere uh you gotta empty out this right here uh everything has already been scuffed up remember you want to use light coats How many of you guys are cringing right now? <laughs> I'm not worried about overspray on my door here either. I can get it all off. All right, so because humidity has dropped, we um, have a lot of uh, grayness going on. But honestly, the only thing you have to do is just heat it up and it'll be fine. That's it, that's all you gotta do. But look at this door. You guys thought that there was gonna be a bunch of overspray on it? I actually uh, polished it. So yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of overspray. I'm still getting on it. It was all the way up here. Now it's all the way down here. So yeah want to uh just polish the crap out of it get it all off that's all you got to do get it while it's still wet yeah that actually doesn't look bad whatsoever see what i was really going to do was make this and the carpet white and everything else black in the interior but i'm going full black because I mean, it just wouldn't look right so now i'm going to show you guys how to paint this and you don't actually paint it you just use this stuff That's basically how you do it. Um, I was actually going to take off some more interior pieces and paint them, but I need a whole lot more paint. And as of right now, I cannot drive this truck because, well, right now, it needs to tune up so damn bad that it just, it runs out of gas so freaking quick. So it definitely needs to tune up, oil change, all that. All right, so we got the whole door panel painted. Still need to get this replaced, put an LED in it. 
but we got this door style right here painted got the kick panel painted uh, I actually painted the glow box a long time ago I took this out painted it took this off painted it and the uh, little vents on the inside they're actually white uh, this actually came out really good and I also painted this and the little plugs that go on it so that looks freaking amazing it's so glossy because it's rubber but yeah that looks so good but uh, I have to redo the headliner because the headliner glue that I used was actually really crappy so it all just bubbled up it was only hanging on by a thread because I tucked it up under but yeah I gotta go get some better glue do not get Gorilla Glue spray adhesive because this was in a hundred and seven degree heat hanging upside down uh, yes I did let it bake in the Sun I'm gonna take the rest of the interior out and paint it so as of right now this is what it looks like on the inside my dog got up on the roof but yeah it looks really amazing like I'm going for the dark black theme because that's what I want I uh, got the door panel painted all this I still gotta I don't know if I'm gonna paint the whole dash or not um, I know I'm gonna have to put a lot of like plastic or some newspaper up on the windshield so that way I'm not scraping at it for months getting all the freaking uh, overspray off but yeah um, I might go ahead and spray paint the whole dash I don't know yet I really don't want it to look tacky like I mean it's it's all one color now like it doesn't look tacky like that because that's from the factory but I feel like if I spray paint these as well that it will look just tacky all together and that's obviously not something that I'm going for um, these trucks they actually come all blue all red this color possibly gonna go ahead and like sand down all this right here and re-clear coat it just because I want this E out of here and then I'm gonna have my buddy uh, print up me a logo and a bunch of uh, letters and stuff so that way I can put my, uh, my business information on there Anyway, that is all that I have for this video. If you guys did like it, be sure to leave a big old fat thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Next video, I'm going to be pulling off all these panels right here and painting them. That's in my next painting video anyway, not the actual next, next video. But yeah, um, still got to get more paint and all that. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. If you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want you to share this video. Jesus said, go preach the gospel to all creation. Souls are going to go to hell if we don't spread the gospel. You sharing this video can literally get the gospel to somebody and save their soul from eternal damnation. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. So right now I offer to you the free gift of salvation. Believe in your heart and pray this prayer out loud right now with me if you want salvation. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died for me on the cross and rose from the dead three days later. If you prayed that prayer, comment saved. Use this sound. Make your own video. Make the gospel go viral.